so it is Monday, August 31st, which is also my sister's birthday. I am going for a walk. Long story short, Matt's Jeep wouldn't start this morning, so he took my car to work. Um, I have plans to go to Epcot with my mom, my sister, and my friend Jalissa. And Jalissa's on her way to come pick me up, so I need to meet her at the front of where we live because she doesn't have access into here, so I'm going to have to meet her up there. So that's where I'm headed. Uh, it's my sister's 30th birthday today. Happy birthday, Carly. And we're going to celebrate. We're going to Epcot to drink around the world. <laughs> Guys, we made it to Epcot. 30-30. Skies of a different light, why noise it keeps me up at night? I can't help but think back to you. I wish that I could find a face that I would recognize. I replay the memory of you. It's been hard, you know I wanted to stay course of God, but there was no other way. Did you wait? Cause I've been counting the days and I'm calling up to say I'm coming home. I'm coming home to you Could not finish my brownie. Just a peach. Many hours later. So it is now the next day. Yesterday ended up being awesome. Um, Weather-wise, it started off like super hot, <laughs> but um, a storm rolled through and luckily um, we were already like at our, like, I guess you could say it was a lunch reservation, but all we ended up getting was milkshakes um, for Carly's birthday. So while we were at the restaurant, is when the like worst of the rain came through um so we got lucky there and afterwards only got like drizzled on and the rest of the evening ended up being like so cool and windy and like overcast so it ended up being really nice weather wise um uh, you know, we had a really great time. We walked around the whole showcase. Um, we all ended up getting some beverages. I got one. Um, I was expecting to drink more, but I had a, um, Grand Marnier slushy and it was pretty strong. <laughs> but, um, my mom and sister had a few drinks and like, you know, we got some food here and there and it just was really good. Um, we all had a good time. So today, um, I got started 
late. I slept in and um, I had a oil change scheduled for 11 o'clock so I'm home from that and yeah now I'm just gonna kind of like do some chores around the camper um, and just hang out until Matt gets off. I don't think we really have anything planned this afternoon but um, we'll see. Maybe we'll go to the gym or who knows. Hey guys, so yesterday, <clears throat> once Matt, so it's the next day, once Matt got off work yesterday, we just ended up going to the gym and then to his softball game. So I didn't get any footage, um, but today I have a hair appointment. Um, I think I'm just gonna get a trim but who knows. So I wanted to get footage of what my hair looks like right now. Um, I haven't gotten my hair cut in over a year, like well over a year. So it's definitely time. So this is what it looks like right now. pretty long um, and it's getting to the length where it's just too much. Um, I normally wear my hair in a bun and it's hard to like get all of it up into a bun and have it stay there. It, it's like really heavy and floppy and it like tries to fall out because there's just too much of it. Um, my braid like once my hair is braided it comes down to like here. Um, and it's just, it's a lot. It's time to get rid of some of it. Okay, so since I'm in the car, I figured I should talk to you guys. Um, I feel like it's been a while since we've given you guys like an update on the camper lifestyle. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to share with you, uh, how it's been going for us. So first off, loving it. Um, yeah, I feel like we have made the right choice to do this. We are both enjoying it. The cats are loving it. So, um, I will say since it's hurricane season, in my case, I feel like Sorry, it's raised my around. anxiety a little bit just because, you know, like <laughs> we're not in the sturdiest of households. Um, and we have a pretty active season this year. So, um, that honestly is the only thing that would be like the con of living this way. Um, so that's, that's more pertaining to me. In Matt's case, he says time and time again how much he is loving this and has expressed to me that he would do this for forever. And we'll see, but yeah, he's he's very content with with this lifestyle, with this like minimalism, and just it it is very nice. Like there's not as much things to worry about um, aside from hurricanes. And the cats are thriving. Like I truly feel like they love the camper lifestyle. Um, you know, cats are very adaptable but I just wasn't too sure on how they would like this smaller space. But they honestly have like their go-to places. On Avalon Road for um, five miles. They have the whole back bunk area, honestly. Like we don't spend much time back there. Like we'll go back there to grab like our clothes and stuff because we do have our little like dressers, but they have the, the bunks to lay on during the day. And, and at night. I mean, they're there all the time. Um, and just, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but they just seem to be absolutely loving it. Um, now, on the financial side of it, because the whole reason we're doing this is to lower, lower our expenses and to put more money towards paying off debt. Now, we have seen the benefits of it. Um, more so now that Matt has been back at work, um, we've been able to like really figure out our finances that way on a more like consistent
assistant level. It's a little harder with like the unemployment money that's not consistent. It's, you know, it's not long term. So now that he's back to work, um, we're really seeing where our money is able to go. So yes, we are saving money. We are able to put that like extra money towards debt and um, just the cost of living is just so much cheaper than living in the apartment. So I mean, our electric bill is easily like a third of the cost, um, which is, it's insane. Like I'm loving it, loving that. And um, so in that aspect, it is also exactly what we needed. Um, the plan seems to be going the way that we intended it to and we're just thrilled. We're just absolutely thrilled about it. Um, so, so far so good. We are coming up on like four months of, of living in the camper. Um, so, I mean, obviously we've got a long way to go, but I feel like this, this like patch of time is a good indicator of how the rest of our time should go. So I'm all done at the salon. Um, ended up being in there for over two hours, so I am very hungry. Um, I just popped into Publix real quick to grab some some five dollar sushi. <laughs> um, it's nothing much. I got that and some freaking cheese puffs because they're so good. And I just really wanted something quick, and I'm snacky. Um, yeah, so the haircut and everything went great, um, but when I was just outside, it was like super windy, and I just, I got in the car, it's hot, I just needed to put it back so I could eat this real quick, and I will show you what it looks like when I get home. Honestly, didn't take that much off, so it doesn't look that different, other than um, she blow dried it and straightened it at the same time, so um, yeah, I'll show you when I get home. So I just got home from my hair appointment, it is three. My appointment was at noon. <sighs> so, yeah, let me show you it. So, like I said, we didn't take a whole lot off. Still super duper long, but it just feels better. Um, you know, the, the ends that were like unhealthy dying are gone and she, um, God love her, blow dried and straightened this beast and uh, it just feels good and it looks nice and I love it and basically I don't need to wash it for a few days like, because <clears throat> just wanted to like give a shout out to Stephanie at Avita Salon, Salon Dulé in, uh, Windermere, Winter Garden. She was not having a good day and she still rocked it and made my hair look fab. Um, she opened up to me about how she had to put her cat down yesterday and I completely understand. I, would, I wouldn't be at work. I wouldn't go to work the next day if one of these kiddos passed away. Um, I just, I would, no, I don't even want to think about it. So, um, yeah, like, you know, I don't know if most places do this, but they, um, they have like the little manila envelopes for, uh, your tip for your, um, stylist. And so I like wrote a little note on there for, you know, it's okay to not be okay. I hope you feel better. Thank you so much. R.I.P. Latte, which was the name of her cat. <sighs> what an awful day. But she still was a trooper and came to work and did awesome. R.I.P. Latte. Tomorrow, I will be watching my nephew and my niece. Well, mainly my niece. My nephew goes to school. Um, so I'll be doing that tomorrow. So maybe I'll bring the GoPro with me. I don't know. Ready for school? Say, Bo, Bo, you ready for school? And there's Miss Cora. Do or die? Is it?
it me or is it you? Is it you? You can say I haven't tried to cross this great divide. Your feelings for me. Okay, now that Cora's down for a nap, I figured I can talk to you now. Um, so yeah, I'm over at my sister's today. Um, earlier this morning, uh, I dropped Bo off at his school, so he'll be there, um, from 9 to 4. And so, like, about an hour, hour and a half ago, we got home, and now Cora's down for a nap. Alrighty, so... We were going to go to Universal. We are actually, literally, there's the parking garage is right over there. And that's the entrance. The line to get in goes all the way back to the light. And that goes around a roundabout and all the way over here. And then to get into this gate over here, the line is all the way up to there. Yeah, we're not going to Universal today. <laughs> so I don't think we've officially like announced today. So it's Saturday. Um, I took this weekend off to hang out with Matt and to like kind of use some of my vacation time because I've capped out. But um, we were supposed to go paddle boarding today, but that didn't work out. So now we're just kind of winging it. We went to the um, outlet mall. So mm -hmm. just them all. and um, tootled around we got Matt some running shoes and I started getting hungry so I ended up getting some uh, Auntie Anne's pretzels um, it is lunchtime I'm hungry had some pretzels felt gross afterwards and then started craving an acai bowl so we went to Kingdom Acai here on International Drive it's the first time I've ever been and um, I just ended up getting like a small bowl, um, sweetened acai with strawberries and blueberries, granola, walnuts, and coconut shreds. Not the prettiest thing in the world, but it should be pretty tasty. I'm gonna make a mess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That hits the spot. <laughs> 